Well, boys, I bought an old barn at an online auction for 20 grand in Northern Missouri. And we finally made it here. We're going to see what's... Well, I guess I should say I know what's inside of it. I've seen pictures. I know exactly what's inside of it. I've talked to the owner's son that was the one that was selling it because the owner passed away, obviously. And we're about two miles out. It's about two miles up this road. The only thing is there's no driveway or easement through the property. Nothing, nothing. It's literally a spot of land that is 0.1 acres and it's in the middle of nowhere. The only way to get through technically is through the creek system. But I am gonna go ask the landowner next door if I could just go right alongside the timber, right alongside his field, see if I can get in there. I think he would allow me to. So that's what we're planning to do now. I have the Bronco with a winch just in case we need to, because those things probably aren't going to start. So what I'm most likely going to do is try to get those out of the barn. And I'll tell you what's in it. It's an old, it's an old 48 F100. And then there's also a 79 Chevy Stepside, whatever you want to call it, which isn't in bad shape. It's a little rusty. I've seen photos of these. There's no surprise about what's in there unless they're gone and somebody stole them. But, and then I also, I have this plan to bring this trailer along so that I can tow those out if I can't get through with the truck. Okay, we're going back on the road. By the way, I got Sirius XM on here, but just a quick question. What type of music do you guys listen to? I've never really told you guys, but I am literally like, I should say 90, I should say 50% in the car while I'm driving, it's country. The other 50%, it's not pop, it's not rock, it's not screamo. It's usually just like podcasts. I'm always just listening to podcasts and audiobooks and stuff. But the other 50% country, I'm always Y2 country or the highway, Sirius XM. Sirius XM is the, the crap. It's the awesome. We're coming up to her. What is, I think, it? Let me pull up my map. Let's see how close we are. By the way, if you guys enjoy barn find videos, well, just smash that like button. Smash her hard, hit her hard, kill her. Well, like... I got my Garmin 3500 XLG here, and it looks like we can go through here and right there. That's where I have my key point. That's what we're going to do. Right through there. That's the only way there. Here is where my point one acre barn is. I don't know what I'm going to do once the barn's there. And this is the creek I got to take. I wonder if I can fit the Bronco up there. Or I'm going to head up the road. And I've already looked up, because online you can pretty much see who owns what land. Let's turn off those hazards. But I'm going to go to the landowner. The landowner, it's one landowner that owns every single field around this place. So I'm going to go talk to him or her. It's the wife. It's the man and husband's name. They share the land together, obviously. So I'm going to go talk to them. They're home. I think it's this. And see if I can't get rights to just go alongside their field. Because that would be a ton easier. Oh my gosh, we got like a train behind us, dude. Okay. Oh. Holy crap. Ho, 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 ho. Ain't this a dream someday? My gosh, they form. Looks like they form the river bottom, too. This is where the good CSR ground is, it looks like, through here. Well, man, I hate to do this, but I think I'm just gonna leave the truck around and go up and talk to him. Man. Yeah, yeah, nice to meet you, yeah. Yeah, so I actually bought, you own the land, it would be northeast here, correct? Pretty much all land northeast here. So I think, I was doing some research online, and I think I bought land that's pretty much surrounded by you guys. You're pretty much surrounded by you guys, and I was wondering if I could, I because there's an old barn there, you, you guys know, your husband knows the old barn, okay. Um. There's two trucks in there that I need to get into because uh, I bought that on online auction, actually. Oh, you guys don't even own the timber around there. Okay. Okay. Well, do you have a... So, is there any way Northwest Missouri State owns it? Well, okay. Well, is there any way I could just go along the field then? Okay. I, well, it, it, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. You're good. You're good. It's okay. I'll call up uh, Northwest Missouri State then. Yep. Sounds good. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks. You too. Well, uh, I got bad news. Oh, shoot. Okay, I am not going to be able to turn around, so I'm going to pull down here 
she was a, she was a pretty nice lady. Uh, so her husband wasn't there, the, actual, the one that actually does the physical farming. Um, but she said they actually sold, ended up selling a lot of their timber to Northwest Missouri State for research reasons with that creek that runs through there. Northwest Missouri State came in, gave them a good offer. They weren't really using the timber for anything rather than leasing it to hunters, which wasn't that good of return uh, as far as income comes. So Northwest Missouri State offered them a good amount of money. So now Northwest Missouri State owns that timber through there. And she, I was like, okay, well, could I go along your, you know, your fields through here? She was like, no, uh, for liability reasons. She had a hunter go along there. His truck got stuck in, his truck got stuck in a sinkhole and tried to sue them, sue them. And they went through court processes. It was insane. Eventually they got out of it, but she was like, nah, we just can't. We just made that strict rule. Nobody comes across their land unless we have contracts signed and stuff. I was like, well, I'll sign one. She's like, nah, we're just too busy to deal with that. So she was like, you can try contacting Northwest Missouri State, see if you can go across their land, but it's a Saturday. There's no way anybody's going to answer. So as long as I know that it's, I know this is wrong, but as long as I know it's like a college that owns it, owns some land for research purposes, well, let's do it. Let's do it, boys. We're going in. There's no easement rights that came with this property. That's the one thing that I knew was going to be tough. Man. So the barn, here's where we go in at. The only thing is there's a fence. I got to get around somehow. This fence is just... Oh. Okay. So here's where I'll go in at. University owns all of this through here. It's kind of a trail system. It's not bad. We can get through here. I'd love to go right along the field, but we can't do that, obviously. Okay, what I'm going to do, so I brought my pliers. I'm going to cut this fence. I know this is, like, stupid. It's not electric, but uh, I know it's pretty stupid. I'm going to cut the fence, rewire it up so I can get my Bronco through here, bring the trailer through there, and get going to that barn. We'll start dragging vehicles back, get them up on the trailer, and then start going. As far as the property... I don't know what's going to happen. I just really want those vehicles. Okay, we're just going to pull in the ditch. It doesn't seem too steep. There we go. Dude, this is going to be sketchy. This is going to be sketchy through here. So the, if I know the age correct, because I do have the titles to the vehicles, the oldest vehicle is a 79. So let's say they drove it for 15 years, put it away in 94. That means this barn hasn't been touched for 25 years or so. I don't know. I don't know the whole stories on the vehicles either. Okay, I got the trailer drop back there. We got her unhooked. These ramps are down. It's time to get this Bronco off. Get going. We're gonna hook up to this. The American Bandit was the only trailer I had that could, that was high enough to where we're not gonna be going, you know, scraping any. It's the best off-road trailer I, I had, basically. It's an overdeck, meaning we're not gonna be scraping anything on the ground. So that's the plan here. Just gonna back the Bronco off. The only thing is, dude, if we're carrying a car through here with this trailer, I really, I don't know. I really got to make sure we know what we're doing here because this is going to be a little rough. Okay, I got this hook here. In case we need to use our winch, I have the hook. Now, what I'm going to do is put it on the trailer, and I think I can, ah, oh, shoot. I don't know if I can strap down the hook. This thing. Okay, well, we'll see. I don't think it's strapped down, but we'll see. Okay, now hook up the Bronco. I cut the wire already, so we should be able to go through there. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, here we go. Let's do it. We got this. Okay. We got her hooked up. Holy crap. Here we go. So I'm just going to back her down the ditch. There we go. We'll keep going past, and then I'll just turn down there. And then we're on our way. Holy crap. This is going to be a little sketchy. Come on. We're in, boys. We are in. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. Slowly come through here. Just slowly. Oh shoot, I wonder if my... Ah, my hook's gone. Darn it. This isn't too bad. Honestly, if the start wasn't so rough, I could maybe even take the tremor through here. I think we might be able to take the tremor through Or not the tremor, but the F-350 through here. Uh, it's getting a little tight, I guess. If the Bronco can't do it, nothing else can pretty much get through here. There's no way. This Bronco's a beast. Okay. We're making her. There we go. Keep coming. Oh, shoot. Okay, we have a tree here. I need to get out and take a look at this. It's just one tree. I could go up around it, but I think what I'm going to do, just cut it off. 
Okay, we don't want to leave any... Ugh, I don't want to cut it. Mainly because I forgot gas, but let's just forget that. Gas for the chainsaw. I don't know if I'd really call this trespassing. It's more like... Because you're on a mission to, you know, get to your place. It's... It's almost like driving through somebody else's yard to get to your yard. It's trespassing, but let's not call it that. Okay, we're close. Thank God this is in like a valley, not right alongside a highway where cars are like driving past you. Even though we're doing nothing wrong here, really. I mean, kind of. Bronco, she's making her. We're close. My gosh, dude. If we get anything, look at that flex. If we get anything that's gonna put weight on this, holy crap, we are screwed. Um, this may be a little rough. Okay, there's just some trees through here. I think it's this way. It's gotta be, let me pull up the Garmin 3700A. It's right here, we're close, we're close. Keep going, it should be right up here. You know what, instead of doing testing purposes with this uh, timber here, the university should just Get, hand this over to the off-roading club. Make this off-road club trail through here. <laughs> well, well, well. If it ain't our barn. I gotta make sure this is the right barn, but my gosh, it's the exact same barn that was on the photos. We made it, boys. We made it to the barn. Man, she's been here for a while. Look at all that mold. That green stuff. I don't know what you want to call it. Mold? Looks like vines wrapping around it. Trees growing through it. This is our barn. And lucky there. The 48. She's just a little dusty, but man, she's in good she's in good condition. Like I said, 0.1 acres. It's not much. Here she is. From the title that I got from the sun. I have the keys also. That was the one thing that he didn't know of at the auction. Then I went over and picked up the title. I was like, hey, do you mind if we kind of just search through your grant, through your dad's stuff and see if we can't find the keys to that? What do you know? Finds the keys to him. So now she's already got, we could have jumped it. It's okay. We could jump it too. Silverado K30. BF Goodrich Mud Trains. No flat on her. What the heck? It's like this thing was just driven. She's a little rusty, but man, she's in good condition. It's got a gooseneck even. My gosh. Wonder how long this Silverado was sitting for. Let's jump on in her. It's got leather seats, manual four wheel drive. She's an automatic. Let's see if she fires up. Come on. Oh, she wants to go. She's rolling that black stuff. It's almost like there's a something wrong with the starter. Come on, crank her, crank her, crank her. Oh, there she goes. The Chevy K30. Lights work and everything. Well, I'm going to just leave her there. Let her warm up. We may be able to drive that one out of there. It's way better than hauling it out of there. I'll tell you that. Okay, this 48. This is going to be rough. Either way, if I can get this started or not, I'm still... There's no way I'm driving it through here. How the, how the heck did they even get this in here? There's no... There's no way it's going to even start. It's clean as heck, dude. My gosh. Let's see if she starts. Nothing at all. This puppy's as dead as Osama Bin Laden. K30 will have to do. This K30, I can, I think, as long as four-wheel drive works on this, and as long as there's enough fuel, let me hop in her, I could drive the K30 back. I think we can. It's got a full tank of fuel. I don't know how long this thing's been sitting. It's got dust on it, but not that long of dust. It's almost like somebody was just driving it a couple years ago. Okay, well, let's try getting this thing out of here. She runs good. Hey. She's good. Nothing wrong with her. She runs smooth through here. My gosh. Okay, well, I'm just going to leave her run and park her right here. One thing. You always check upstairs, dude. There could be something crazy up here. Let me jump up here. Okay, never mind. There's nothing. The only thing is, what do we do with this 48? I think what I'm going to try to do, back the trailer up in here, try to winch her somehow from the front, get her up on the trailer, and then tow her back. That's the only way. I just want to get these vehicles out of here. 20k for this property wasn't too bad, but I don't know. We'll see. 
I'm gonna get this K30 back to the truck first before we get this. Cause that way I can go back and grab another hook and then we can hook it up. That'll work good. Dude, the university is so gonna know somebody came through here. Oh my gosh, man. Okay, it's all good. It's probably all good. We're good. Holy crap, she's a little rougher than the old Bronco. Bronco's got a nice set of new suspension. This is just stiff and old. Come on, old girl. I think we're here. This has to be the top. Oh, shoot. We made it back on the road. Man, I almost want to drive this home, but it's about a four-hour trip home. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm just going to pull her up on here, load her in the front. Keep coming, keep coming. And there we go. Now you guys are probably wondering, well, squad, how are you going to get the other two vehicles? I think what I'm going to do is get the Bronco on here, fold the ramps up, and then back up to the trailer as long as I can get that trailer with that 48 Ford out, and we can pull all three vehicles home. I know it's so sketchy, and it's probably illegal, but we can take the back roads. That's okay. Now, the only thing is, is I got to walk back there. It's kind of a long walk. The moment we've all been waiting for. I got to load up this 48, get her on the trailer, which I guess is loading up, and then pull her out of here. This is going to be a little tough, man. This is going to be tough. Well, let's do it. Let's get to her. Slap her doodle do. She's loaded up. Well, the only challenge now is getting this thing out of here. This is going to be a little rough. I wish I could just go along the side of the field here, but either way, it's still pretty hilly through there. So, here we go. As for the barn, give her a kiss and say goodbye, because I don't know if we're going to be coming back to the barn. It's pretty much worthless. Pretty much, I'll just own a barn in the middle of nowhere. And we're off on the adventure through here with the Bronco. Oh, shoot, dude. Okay. Let's not tip this thing. So far, not too bad. See, I want... It's... it's the only thing is it is so hard on those trailer axles back there. I just got to be careful because there's no suspension to those things. Oh, shoot. We're about stuck. Come on, pull up over there. That trailer was stuck. There we go. Keep coming through. Yeah, buddy. We're making her. Okay, so far, so good with the Bronco. There we go. Keep taking her slow through here. Holy crap. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Go to one side. Holy crap. Ah, shoot. Okay, so this is that same tree we had to go around. We gotta go up to the left and then over without tipping and having this trailer come sliding down. Come on. Holy crap. We're gonna scratch that car. That's fine. There we go. Okay, I don't really remember this part. Are we still going the right way? Because my gosh, this is steep. Well, I think we got an issue, boys. Oh, holy crap. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Dude, I don't even want to look in the rear right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, dude. I think we lost our axle. Come on, old girl. Well, I got her fixed. It was just a little bolt that need tightened. That was it. Nothing major. Okay, let's hit the road. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. You do that to that culvert. Oh, shoot. We might be stuck. No, dude. We got a winch at least. There we go. Keep coming. Okay, that trailer's going to have a little rough time coming through there. Oh, all oh, the weight is on that culvert. Here we go. We made it. We made it, mama. We made it. No flat tires, nothing. She's here. She shifted a little bit because we didn't strap her down the best, but we got her. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, disconnect this, put the jack down, load the Bronco up, and then get out of here. I just dropped a trailer straight on the roadway. Okay, we need to hurry up, seriously, though, because I have a trailer sitting on the roadway there. There we go. Bronco, and that should be good. Perfect. Okay, let me lift up these ramps here. Okay, ramps are up. 
Let's pull this on the street, back into the trailer, and get going. Here we go, boys. Can the Ford do her? She's not as soft. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. She's not as soft as the Bronco. Come on. There we go. We got her. Pull her up there. Okay, now we got to back this train all the way up. She's loaded, boys. That's what we got. Okay. Now the only thing is I got to pull up the Garmin, and we got to take back roads all the way back. It's usually like a four-hour drive, but it'll probably be like a seven-hour drive, because this is totally illegal. And we'll take a left-hand turn here. Swim wide. Don't put her in the ditch, though. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, shoot. This may be a ditcher. Shoot, I don't know if I want to make this turn. Oh, gosh. Okay, come out of the ditch. Oh. There we go. We're good. But anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the barn finds. Barn finds are always, like, they're fun to do. They're funny. They're awesome. Uh, so, if you guys enjoyed it, smash that like button. Also, 80s farming is coming soon. There's probably a couple more videos leading up to once we actually get on the map. Because we, I'm pretty much just stalling out until we get that map. Because I love I love that map. I want that map. But uh, the guy who's working on it is running, running into some troubles and some delays. So, that's okay. That's okay. But, uh. It's coming soon. So, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.